laptop, the average citizen at home can throw right in the landfill. It's not illegal. But why? Why throw it in the landfill when we can take something that can be trash and we can recycle it into components that can easily be put onto other markets? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna separate the wires. All the wires have a different value to them. So I'm gonna show you how to separate it all into a pile so we have all the components. I'll explain to you what I was doing. I was just pulling off some components. This will be the power supply. This is what powers your computer. It's gonna have a board in there. We're gonna be able to recycle that completely out. This is the fan. The fan will be low copper bearing. There's a little motor in there. We can recycle that. We can recycle the quartz front. We can even recycle the metal screws. These pieces right here are your memory. They're called gold finger, they're, uh, they're gold memory. Uh, what you're seeing on the edge there are little pieces of gold. And those can all be separated out. This is, would be a gold finger board. And right now I'm just taking apart all the different screws to get the components so that we can separate it all into something that we can send off to a recycler that they can take and further process. This is the heat sink, it's solid aluminum. This is the processor, we can go and recycle that. The trick is always to find all the screws that they managed to put in here, make sure you get them all out. What you're looking at here is the hard drive. So we have aluminum on here and there's other metals. We don't process them any further. We just actually send those out and separate the components. What we're looking at right here is the hard drive. This is what keeps all your information on there. We do not resell these to anyone and the board on there can be recycled and inside's like a disc, kind of like a CD and that's what stores all your information. But those will get further torn apart. And these are all plastics. Unfortunately, there's not a big market for the plastics right now. It's harder to get rid of plastics, but, but there's plastics there. This would be your CD-ROM or uh, your number one, if I get a number one Phillips. Oh, it's not number one Phillips. But... What I'm taking apart right now, this is your CD-ROM. We're gonna take this apart further just so we can get the board out of there. So you can see we keep getting components. So we're gonna, really what we're doing is we're separating components. So therefore you have another board that we're gonna separate and all the boards go into different things. You have a little motor and there's, there's a couple motors and little eyes in here. Also a CD-ROM works. 
And then in here, if you look, there's still one more set of cords in here. But other than that, everything else has been removed. So that way we only have, we're only, ha we're down to having steel in here. So we'll recycle the steel. So we'll separate. So if you think about when we're tearing apart a computer, we get steel, we get wires that have copper, we get a brown board or a power supply. We get a fan that's low copper bearing. We get a board that goes into recycling. You get a hard drive. You get your memory. You get the processor. You get the board from your DVD-ROM. You get the gold finger boards. You get a heat sink, and then you get more wires. And all of that can get separated into separate components, and we can save this from going into a landfill.